Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to a game that I haven't played in a long time. We are back out in Trailmakers because a new update recently came out, and it sounds really, really exciting. There is now a DLC called High Seas, where there's more of an emphasis on water-based creations, obviously. There's supposed to be impressive water physics, a bunch of new upgraded ways to build, and a whole new world to explore. So yeah, we're gonna go out today and... Uh, uh, well, bear with me as I learn again. It's been a long time since I last played, but I did want to get back to this game because it's one of my favorite building games out there. So why not now? Dear colleague, you have arrived at your destination. Indeed I have. This planet is full of remains from lost civilizations. Please collect the remains and return them to the four delivery stations. The stations will appear as rings on your map as you encounter them. Also, please beware of the strong winds and waves in the area. Good luck. Oh man, wind? That's going to be fun to deal with as well. Look at the waves though. Before, I mean, last time I played this game, there was very basic water physics. I wonder if there's actually going to be storms and whatnot. I have seen screenshots and there's massive waves somewhere out there. I'm assuming we have to go out further to get to them though. I mean, you can even see the storm in the distance. Interesting. So now it just gives me an option to build a basic unit. You know what? I'm going to say yes. Let's just auto build that just to see how this works. I'm curious. So there's got to be buoyant blocks now. Again, we're going to be learning as we go. This is so cool. Yeah, what a, what a basic boat though. All right, I'm going to build my own boat for the first time here. And I want to build something a little bit different because yeah, I don't want to just use the pre-builds. Can I just, yeah, perfect. Do that. I know we have pontoons in this game, so I'm going to do something with pontoons. And let's see if I remember how to build here. I want something nice and light. Something basic for the start, so we'll just do like an H-frame. All right, yeah, we have these large pontoons. I don't know if large will be good. Yeah, large should be great, actually. And we're just going to spread those out. Oh, yeah, I forgot about wheels. Huh. <laughs> Then we got these boat engines. We we saw them before. I'm going to use, I think, two of them. We'll see if that's enough. Just throw them on the back here. I think that should be good, right? That should be deep enough. I was really hoping to use sail power, but I can't seem to find the sails. I have the mast, but I don't have the sails yet, possibly. So we might do that later. There's a, there's oars as well I saw in here. There's so many different ways to choose your uh, propulsion. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should probably get an engine as well. Let's get you a, dra a dragon engine. Put it kind of in the middle. And yeah, we kind of need a, a steering wheel as well. So we'll throw that in the front here. And I think... Aside from attaching... Do we have to attach everything together in this game? I get this game in Scrap Mechanic confused a lot. I know in Scrap Mechanic, you have to attach the mechanics together. I don't know if you do need to or not in this game. Well, let's just test it out. Don't need to. Okay. So far, so good. Mystic Blue Statue floats on water. Oh, God. All right. We'll worry about that later. I'm just making sure my vehicle floats right now and works in the water. I don't think my rudders steer, do they? Well, let's find out real quick. Yeah, having a very hard time steering. I think I'm only steering via the wheels. All right, so I guess it doesn't work like a actual boat motor. Uh, they generally rotate. These ones don't. They only have one control, W and S, which is obviously backwards and forwards. So I think we just got to put a hinge on this and we should be good. And I could put them on their own button, but does it really matter if they steer well out of the water? I don't think so, as long as they steer well in the water. And, oh, okay, they are <laughs> reversed, but... Now we can steer in the water. Dude, I have missed this game so much. This is great. Watch out, chickens. Okay, so this thing floats on water. So we don't... I was wondering if I needed to, like, build something for it. But we should be able to just push it. We kind of have this perfect front area anyways. And we should get the first one done. Assuming I don't destroy... No, are you serious? There we go. Thankfully, it's sticking to the front quite well. And we got it. We did something in the game already. It's exciting. You know what I should just do right now? I mean, the more I explore, the more I open up the map. I feel like we're, we're okay with this design. So let's just go around a little bit. See if we can find some waves or anything. And we need to unlock more pieces as well. If I remember correctly, that's how we do it in this game. We have to find the pieces so we can use them. Oh, man. You know what? I have to go into the storm. Look at the size of these waves coming up. This might be a dumb idea. What did I just stumble upon? Viking Mountain? There's a giant Viking on it, too. Okay, well, Vikings mean ships, so maybe I can get some ship stuff here. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I'll definitely go into a creepy cave if I if I can get one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll just get off this real quick. Oh, this is uh this is one of the statues, Mystic Blue. So I got to take that to the Mystic Blue area. Is that all the way back where I was? It is. You're insane. I'm going to have to design something to bring that. Okay, I'm building what is essentially, hopefully, a servo trailer. What I'm hoping to do is rotate this. I want to see if it's buoyant enough with these little blocks. Yeah, no. That's that's not buoyant enough at all. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. But yeah, I have a ball hinge with uh, buoyant blocks. And then I need to build the bottom. But I want to essentially rotate these out of the way once i'm on top of it i'll rotate it inwards it'll make a box that will hopefully carry it like a a sailing trailer if you will please float yes okay so now hopefully okay other wrong way but <laughs> that might actually work so we back it in pick it up and hopefully it stays in there okay well it's bigger than i thought the important part is it works. I just got to maybe expand this out a little bit. I mean, it might hold in there. Hopefully, let's give it a shot. We have to take it all the way back. Oh, God. Okay, well, that was just too, due to my bad driving, but we might want to maybe expand this out a little bit because it actually does work pretty well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Whoa, oh, my God. What, what just happened? Oh, my God. Why are you doing this? Every time I get it almost set up. It just, it doesn't do it normally. Look it. And then I, I get it set up and it, it does that. I don't get it. This is not easy. This is not, building a trailer on a boat was a dumb idea, but I'm too committed now. What the hell? Where did that go? Okay. Okay. I got it. Just get it out of here, please. I, I understand I'm destroyed now. The thing is it works. It's just, oh my God, the waves. Oh, God. Here we go again. Come on. Yes. Yes, it finally worked. Okay, I just can't screw up. These waves at the entrance of the cave are what's killing me. Get out. Go, go, go. Before the wave comes, I'm just full throttling. I just need to get away into the open ocean because this thing works so well when I don't have to deal with those massive waves. Okay, where the hell? All right, I'm going the right way. Look at the swordfish. This is so cool. I'm so glad I finally got this to work. Definitely not a viable option in a cave. I will say that. And having the motors in the middle of the design because, well, we have a trailer on makes it very hard to control. But as you can see, it works when it wants to. Yeah, I might have to edit this design a little bit. Maybe not making it a trailer and just part of the actual boat would be a much better idea. I feel like I just wanted to make a trailer because it looked fun. Oh, easy now. Oh, God. Where the hell am I going? Is this like the edge of the world? Oh, that, that is a freaking whirlpool. That is going downwards. We are going to stay away from there for the time being. I thought I was going the right way. I am not going the right way. Okay, let's go back here. Dude, what the? Oh, dude. What? How did I get to a rock? Oh, no. There we go. There we go. There we go. Grab it. Please stay on. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Come on. Go in the trailer, not on top of the trailer. Oh, I don't like this. Can I push it in maybe? Hold on. Oh, God, this tra trailer's going away. I can't, I, I, I can't keep up. I didn't realize how b bad the flow was. Oh, my God. Oh, no. My, my, my boat. I can't catch it. I can't. Please. Please, boat. I'm lost without you. <laughs> All my work. I thought I could just get off and push it in. This is not good. I can't. It's gone. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't believe that. All that work, and I, I've lost it. It's gone, man. <laughs> I mean, I can bring it back, but my the whole point was I wanted the blue thing. I worked so hard for it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it out of there. Let's just get out of here before we die. How about that? All right, looks like we got, a, like, a factory here or something. Let's go over here. It's, it looks a hell of a lot calmer. The waves are cool, but it's nice to be out of them. I, I was feeling actually seasick. So this is the red zone. We haven't found any of those yet. Like, it blows me away. This is all new. This is not part of the old map at all. Okay, this thing's a little slow to try and do that jump. But hey, uh, I guess we'll keep exploring here. We'll come back here. We're, the goal is to find all the ar ar artifact zones anyways. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. <laughs> My God, these waves are insane. Just trying to get out of the coastline. 
<laughs> it's like accurate to real life because the waves around coastlines are the worst. Definitely should get a little bit of a heavier boat. I shouldn't have something this small out here. Wait, is that a red? Is that something I can grab? All right, boat. You're not going to float away on me, are you? Is this one... It floats on water. Okay, so I wonder if I should kind of redesign my grabby part because that one didn't really work too well. Oh, I didn't build it big enough. I, just, I was expecting to grab it sideways, but I don't think it's wide enough to grab it sideways. So, good enough. This has been not perfect all around, but that's okay. It's on. Let's just get it closer. Hopefully, it doesn't fall off and we can get this thing done. We are now in the wave zone. We, we must get through as quickly as possible. Outrun the wave! <laughs> My trailer's not really working. My head is, though. Also, this front piece doesn't have wheels, so this is going to be fun. We did it. Okay. That actually worked out. I will say one added benefit of this. I am front heavy now, so I can deal with these waves with ease, as you can see. This thing's turning out to be quite good. I just have to lower the back motors. I should probably put them on, like, uh, pistons or something. I have to say, it's so nice to have a build game like this with actual, like, intense waves. Like, Stormworks would be the only one that I can think of that has waves anywhere near comparable to this. This is insane, though. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going over here, like, right from the start. Maybe I should have just chilled on the starting island for a bit instead of just going out into the middle of nowhere. But this is the fun way to do it. Look at this. What the hell is this? A giant skeleton of something? Or is that just some sort of insane rock face? Like, this has to be 200 foot waves. It's just slowly going up and the whole... I don't even know what to call this thing, an island? Whatever the hell it is, is going under the water. I don't know if I can get on top of it or not. Oh my god. God, this might be the best water physics I've seen in any game. Not even just, you know, a building game. Like, Sea of Thieves is the only one I can think of that's really good. But I don't think the waves in that are as bad as this one. All right, I've went all the way around the island. Oh, God, that's a big wave. Oh, avoid. Avoid. Come on, little engines. You can do it. <laughs> I'm pushing so hard. Just to show you the insanity of this, let me just take my hand off the arrow key for a second. Just to show you how bad everything is. Obviously, I'm going to follow the waves now, but it's so hard to keep this thing in control. <laughs> I, am, I am way too small to be way out here. Oh, hell no. Okay, well, I had a hard, hard enough time getting an artifact in a cave. I'm not going to try one in the middle of a volcano. Oh, yeah, that's more my style. We got one over here. Let's see if we can save this bad boy. Come on, big guy. It's okay. Get in there. Oh, it works. It's just a little too small. I forgot to change that. You know what? Let's just do that now. Actually, you know what? It's staying in really well right now. And until it falls out, I'm going to try and get back into uh, the red zone. Did just kill me? <laughs> Hit me in the head and killed me. Oh my god. Okay, if that doesn't tell you that I should probably, you know, change this a bit. I don't know what does. There we go. Look at that. So yeah, I don't have a big, a, a bit big of a bottom anymore. But I just wanted to add a back wall to this thing. Much more better now. And yeah, building kind of like a net design at the bottom actually works better. Because it wedges itself in, as you can see. This thing is staying there as long as we don't hit too big of a wave too fast all right we even got through the coast waves and didn't even come close to falling out it's pretty much wedged in there so yeah only downside now is when it comes to going on land doesn't really work very well anymore thankfully for the red one we don't have to go too far on land so all good give me my money please thank you very much uh I mean, I'm no captain, but last time I played with a sailboat, I don't think this is how they float. Oh, 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 there we go. Just had to actually go into the wind. So, yeah, I thought I would show you guys, you know, some actual decent creations. Because I am definitely not a builder in games like this. So, it does have Steam Workshop support if you are new to the game. And, yes, the community can build a hell of a lot better than I can. My God, this feels a lot more horrifying than my boat, actually, though. It's not as big as I thought it would be. All right, the boat's not so bad when you don't use the engine, though. So, yeah, it is wind-based, obviously, and uh, pretty cool. The sails, you can lift them, you can close them. But, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the sails unlocked. Thankfully, with the uh, Steam Workshop creations, you can still use them. And uh, now you can kind of see how the wind-powered creations work. Whoa! 
There we go. I got an even bigger boat. This feels more my style. This is actually fantastic. I definitely want to build a sailboat sooner or later. And then when you want to be a total badass, you got something like this. What is that at the bottom? Is that torpedoes? Oh my god. Actually, those are all torpedo engines. I thought they were actual torpedoes, but yeah, this thing is really stable. Look at the size of this freaking wave. I, I'm gonna hit it. Bring it on, you little jerk. I feel safe in this thing. <laughs> It's now a plane. Oh, the wind's throwing me back, though. Oh, my God. The waves are bigger over here. Dude, I just... I keep wanting to explore this map because it is fan-freaking-tastic. Like, look at this. Come on, keep it stabilized. God, was that just a rogue wave? Because now that I survived that one... Oh, nope, never mind. There's another one. This is seriously bigger than 200 feet. I am, I, when, when this game said it had like real waves, I did not expect anything like this. All right, guys, but I think it's time to wrap up this episode here. I just wanted to show you a few of the Steam Workshop creations as well. Let me just know if you guys want to see some more of this, because obviously I am having a great time checking out this game once again. And yeah, I'd like to actually play a little bit more of the new campaign. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.